Ethan and I had chased the stripers over 100 miles of coast. We had fished Gloucester, Nahant, Hull, Cape Cod, and the islands of Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard. Now our final stop was Montauk, New York. As we headed down Montauk Highway at the eastern end of Long Island, our minds conjured images of the greatest and craziest striper fishing in the Northeast. To get the scoop on fishing Montauk, we stopped in at Freddy's Bait and Tackle. Montauk is, is a little village, is what it is. It's, it started all on fishing, and fishing is still a big part of it. Uh, summertime is more touristy, but the fall is just fishermen and just nothing like the fall in Montauk. In the shadow of Montauk Point Lighthouse, a parking lot is filled with campers and RVs, inhabited by hardcore surf casters. Out at the point, a line of surf casters are perched on rocks below the lighthouse, casting heavy tackle into the pounding surf. Just a line of, through the whole water's edge, there's a line of people. They call it a picket fence. They'll be right next to each other, especially if there's fish around. If somebody catches a fish, he just gets mobbed in five minutes. He'll be mobbed before he has to fish him. From the rocky shoreline, it is easy to see why Montauk is considered one of the most dangerous places for surf casting on the East Coast. You got the waves coming in that can pick you up at any time and slam against the rocks. It's happened. Uh, rocks are very slick, and uh, nighttime is, is, I don't even go there at night. It's, that's, that's something for the billy goats, I call them. Because uh, it's, it's all rocks, it's all slippery, and you really got to know what you're doing to go there. Experienced Montauk anglers certainly look the part, some as if they're dressed for combat, with chest waders, knives, and footwear equipped with metal studs, known as corkers. Corkers are just metal studs you put on the bottom of the feet, uh, carbide tips, <laughs> so you can uh, just grip the rocks with them. Watching men fish from rocks way out in the surf, Ethan and I knew we were out of our league. Uh, a lot of these guys, they gear up. Their uh, wetsuit is actually swim out into different rocks, and. Uh, the fish that way, they're what they call skishing. They go out there with fins and tread water and fish at the same time, and that's just nuts in my eyes. I would never do anything like that. It's not a normal thing to do. Especially if you got a bag of eels and you're in the water. That's, you know, there's sharks out there. <laughs> we were relieved to find out we weren't the only ones terrified by the extreme fishing techniques we saw in Montauk, and we also weren't the only ones taken aback by the curiosity of it all.